I became aware that throughout much of the world, there are many people that believe that this symbol, the symbol of the Apple Corporation, is a biblical illusion. This isn't just an apple, but it's an apple with a bite out of it. And then you put that in the context of the fact that Apple stores look an awful lot like churches or temples. You put that into the understanding that there is indeed evil in the world. Then it's a particularly eerie feeling that one can get. Suddenly, there's a voice in Eve's head and she's arguing with that voice. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat. As well as the fact that Jesus took it literally, our priests are to combine, I think a pretty strong case for taking it in a crude literal way. Um, and not that there aren't, you know, higher spiritual truths behind it as well. Back in the ancient Hebrew, there was three types of spirits. There was the Catholic, which was the, the earthly spirit, which was, you know, material, what, what the animated uh, material of, of, like, of flesh. Um, there was breath, and then there was uh, the heavenly spirit. I do wonder, though, like, I, I always wonder, like, how do you control for the assholes? Like, you, because there's always going to be somebody who wants more. Yeah. Could you imagine explaining to a caveman exercising at the gym? You know, he would look at you and he'd just be like, what is wrong with you? You're going to this place and you're making yourself sweat and you're picking up heavy things when you don't have to. The, you know, the only way you can have total communism is with abundance. This belief that humans are bad, that humans are the problem, that there's nothing special about human beings. Uh, this is this is just wrong.